friends. Today I am going to tear down and upgrade my HP Victus RTX 3060 variant with WD Blue 1TB NVMe M.2 SSD. Also we will check all internal components. Now, first start with unboxing the SSD. 2400 MB per second speed mentioned in the box. We will also check disk speed test later part of the video. Now unbox and keep it aside. No heat shield provided, only SSD stick. Now, start opening the back panel. For that, you will need two tools, a good quality torque T screwdriver, and prying tool. You can use old credit, or debit card instead prying tool. But, before that, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit bell icon and don't forget to like and comment. Let's start. Total, 8 screw on each side. Carefully open them, and keep aside safely. You need not to press her. Open gently. Now take pry tool, or credit card, and find a soft corner. Now press open all locks, carefully press and release. Do that slowly, or you may damage any locks. After all locks released, carefully open the back cover, look for any connected wire. As you can see, air intake vents are decent in size. Now keep the back cover aside, and look for other component. Here is the 70 watt hour battery placed on bottom of the chassis, then right and left corner holds, two bottom firing speaker, then massive size GPU heat shield. Then we can see total three heat pipes, two pipes common for GPU and CPU, and one dedicated to GPU, then two dedicated fans for CPU and GPU, GPU fan slightly bigger in size, then two upgradable SSD slots, cover with heat shield, CPU side slot is populated with 512 gigabytes NVMe SSD, which support PCIe Gen 4. So we will use left side slot. Then two RAM slots support up to 32 gigabytes in dual channel. Presently populated with two Hynix 3200 megahertz SODIMM 8 gigabyte sticks in dual channel. Before upgrading any parts, make sure to remove battery connector. Remove battery connector by pressing two sides of the clip. Now, start upgrading the SSD. First, open lock screw, then heat shield. Carefully match SSD connector and motherboard slot. And make sure to check the pin cutout on SSD. 
Then align at an angle, and press slightly until you hear a click. Now remove thermal pad cover on heat shield, and carefully lock with screw. Now reconnect the battery connector. Press both clip on each side to lock. Now, take the back cover. Carefully match all locks. Press genially, until you hear click, repeat each side. Carefully tighten all 8 screws. Do not over tight. Finally, our upgradation is complete. So flip the laptop and start. Now we have to enter in BIOS to check our SSD detected or not. For that, we have to press power button once and repeatedly press F10 button. Laptop will go to BIOS screen. Now, in the main screen you can check that SSD is detected. That means, upgradation is successful. Now, restart the laptop. Download Mini Tool Partition Wizard for making the SSD allocated in Windows. Download Crystal Disk Mark to check SSD speed. Let it check. Here is the result friends. That's it for today friends. Please do comment.